All right, in this video, we will learn how to make a GET request using Axios and render the fetched data in our React component. To fetch the data, we need to have an API endpoint. For that, I will be making use of JSON placeholder. As you can see here, it is basically a fake online REST API for testing and prototyping. I want to focus on fetching data in a React application and not on creating an API. I will, however, leave a link to this site in the description down below. Now, if you scroll down to the routes section, you can see the possible HTTP requests you can make. For this video, I will be making a GET request to slash posts, which will fetch an array of posts to display in the UI. Let's get started. I'm going to go back to VS Code and create a new component. So within the source folder, I'm going to add a new folder called components. And within the folder, a new file, postlist.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the React snippet RCE to create a class component. Now, as of this recording, React version 16.8 is out which does give us access to hooks. However, I want to first show you how to work with HTTP and class components and talk about hooks separately. So back to our postless component, I'm going to remove the named export. And for the JSX, simply add the text list of posts. Back in app component, I will include postless component. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the text list of posts. Now for data fetching. First step, we import the Axios library in postlist component. Import Axios from Axios. Second step, we need to create a state property which will store the list of posts. I'm going to use the React snippet rconst to add a constructor and then a state property called posts initialize to an empty array. Third step, we are going to use Axios to make a GET request to the JSON placeholder API. The question though is where do we place the code to make the GET request? The answer is in the component did mount lifecycle method. This method will be executed when the component mounts for the first time and is only executed once during component's lifetime. A perfect place for our GET request. Now to make a GET request, we invoke the GET method on the Axios library. This method accepts the API endpoint as its argument. Go back to the browser and click on the posts route. Copy the URL from the address bar and paste it as a string parameter to the get method. All right, we are now making a get request. But how do we access the data that is returned? Well, Axios is a promise-based library, so we can add then and catch blocks. Then accepts an arrow function as its argument, which gives us access to the response. And I'm going to simply log to the console response. Also, if at all something went wrong, we simply log that error in the console. So again, an arrow function, which receives the error and log error. If you now go back to the browser and open DevTools, you should see an object logged in the console. And if I expand the data property, you can see the list of 100 posts that have been retrieved. All that is left now is to assign this data array to the state property and then render it in the JSX. So back in VS Code, when we get back the response, we are going to set the response data to the posts array. So this dot set state posts is going to be response dot data. And in the render method, first destructure the state property. 
Then display this list of posts using the map method. I'm going to have curly braces. If at all there is at least one post, so post dot length. Then we are going to use the map method and display each post title. So post key is going to be post dot ID and we are going to render just post dot title. If post is an empty array, we are not going to render anything. Now save the file, go back to the browser and you should be able to see the list of items fetched from the API being displayed in the browser. Now let me explain how this complete process happens as it is really important. We start off with the constructor. We have a state property called post which is an empty array. Then the control flows to the render method. The text list of posts is displayed but the actual list is not rendered because the array is an empty array at the moment. Then the control flows to component did mount. Over here we make our get request to the API endpoint. Once the data is retrieved we then update the state posts property. When you change state the component will re-render and this time the array is not empty and hence the list of titles are rendered in the browser. Now let me also quickly show you how to display an error message when the API fails. I will add another state property called error message initialized to an empty string. In the catch block I will set it to the string error retrieving data. This dot set state error retrieving data. In the JSX, if there is an error message, I will display it. So destructure and conditionally render it. Finally, I will alter the URL to an invalid URL. If you now head back to the browser, you should see the message error retrieving data. So that is how you make get requests with Axios and React. In the next video, let's quickly take a look at post requests. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.